for yeah. sure. And it's something that's a long-awaited good news for everyone. Uh, however, we're so focused this last two years on COVID-19, and it seems like that's the only vaccine that seems to be needed. However, the World Health Organization has recommended the widespread use of the first malaria vaccine. Experts hope that it can help save tens of thousands of children across Africa. The malaria is still the primary cause of childhood illness and death in sub-Saharan Africa. Now, additionally, the vaccine has been administered to more than 800,000 kids in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi since 2019. Thank you very much. World Health Organization has recommended the use of the world's first malaria vaccine, which has been more than 30 years in the making. The vaccine should be given to children across Africa in the move officials hope will boost efforts to curb the spread of the parasitic disease. The malaria vaccine, known as Most Creeks, was developed by GlaxoSmithKline in 1987. Following a meeting of the United Nations Health Agency's Vaccine Advisory Group, WHO General Director said the decision marked as a historic day. Uh, today is a very historic day. Uh, and because it's not only this vaccine is just uh, for malaria, this is not a uh, vaccine, uh, first vaccine uh, just for malaria, but it's also the first vaccine for any parasitic disease. So it will open up uh, opportunities um, for other diseases as well, in the control of other diseases as well. So that's what I would like to underline. While the vaccine is the first to be authorized, it is only about 30% effective. It requires up to four doses and protection fades after just months. But the vaccine could still have a major impact. Health experts caution that this is not a replacement for other efforts to reduce transmission, including insecticide-treated bed nets. WHO will increase the production and distribute to those who need it. Um, and as you may guess, uh, we will move into massive mobilization because we will need resources. And if we're going to um, you know, increase access to this new tool, uh, then we will need uh, increased production of the vaccine, and that means we will need resources. And as what Somia said, I hope the partnership and cooperation will continue uh, to avail the resources uh, so that, um, you know, children Af in Africa and in other parts of the world can have access uh, to this uh, vaccine. Uh, having a vaccine is an important milestone, but the key is having that vaccine uh, in use and, uh, you know, creating access to as many children as, as uh, possible. So that will be the major uh, challenge now, as you have already guessed, and we will do everything to make sure that we have resources to deliver uh, this vaccine to those uh, who need it. According to the health agency, malaria remains as the primary cause of childhood illness and death in sub-Saharan Africa. More than 260,000 African children under the age of five die from this disease every year. This is very eye-opening because it should make all of us, especially those who were on the fence before about the COVID-19 vaccine, feel 100 times better only because you saw the doses. You need four doses spread apart. Um, and not only that, it, that, even after all of that, it only provides you 40% efficacy at most. Um, the, the vaccine is called RTSS. It was already proven effective six years ago. Unfortunately, there are over 100 types of malaria parasites, and the RTSS vaccine can only target one that is most deadly. This is why it's being 
being introduced to Africa or suggested by the World Health Organization. The one that's most common in Africa is called Plasmodium falciparum. Now this is the one that is the, affecting most of the cases there, but trials back in 2015 showed that vaccine could prevent around four in 10 cases in, of malaria, three in 10 severe cases, and lead to the number of children needing blood transfusion falling by up to one third. The first three shots are given a month apart at five, six, seven months old, and a final booster is needed around 18 months.